chose this picture for my YouTube channel because as a child I spent a great deal of time in the summers roaming the seashore and land surrounding this property. The man on your right in this picture, taken circa 1940, is my great-grandfather Frank Jeffrey on the front steps of his home in Overton, Yarmouth County, Nova Scotia. The man beside him is his son Ralph, who in grade 8 quit school to go fishing with his father. Ralph returned to school when he was 21 years of age and in his lifetime would become a mathematician of some note. My great-grandfather Jeffrey was born June 18, 1861, and after his passing on September 29, 1941, an item appeared in a Yarmouth newspaper that is rumored to have been submitted by his son Ralph. My grandmother saved the clipping, and it reads, quote, Last of the pioneer lobster fishing industry passes. The funeral of Frank Jeffrey took place at his home in Overton on October 2nd. At the time of his passing, he was 80 years and three months of age. He was the last of a group of four men who pioneered the lobster industry at Yarmouth Bar. The others were Frank Lent, Charlie Fevens, and Edgar Foote. These men worked in close association following the fishing through its experimental stages to the time when it became one of the main industries of the province. As a group, they made their share of contributions to improvements in equipment and shipping practices. The three men last named were instrumental in establishing the herring trap at the bar. This became an institution and was for long a source of considerable profit to both operators and owners. Mr. Jeffrey never missed a lobster season for over 40 years. While carrying on this work, at which he was more than ordinarily successful, he built up his farm at Overton, and for the last 15 years, gave his whole time to it. His outstanding characteristic was an enterprising and progressive outlook, and this he never lost. During the last few years, he had carried out a successful diking project, reclaiming many acres of marshland. Four years ago, at the age of 76, he started a cranberry bog and this promises to be a success. His activity in these pursuits and his keen and comprehensive, comprehensive interest in current happenings never abated till the day he was stricken, only six weeks ago. With his passing, not only is the last tie with the glamorous days of the lobster industry broken, but there goes from our midst a man whose industriousness, whose rugged and forthright character, whose friendliness and sympathetic interest in others won the respect and admiration of all who knew him." Unquote. If you look closely beside Frank, you will see a conch shell, and it is probably the same one that I would see in the same spot many years later visiting my grandmother as a child. It is also probably the same one that was on the front steps when this picture was taken of the Jeffrey home before it had electricity or even a driveway. And so, all my future YouTube videos will be ending so.